Okay, I am having to set up all of my classes now on Google Classroom, and so I'm going to model how that could be done for those of you in Libs 4170. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my image here so I'm not, don't mind Charlie, he's here with us too. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go here into Google Classroom to get to Google Classroom, you can just come over here to the top of your um, Google window and in the Google Apps, just go down until you find Classroom and click on it. So it's going to be the same thing. I'm already signed in. Um, okay, so we don't need that many windows. But uh, so as you can see, I already have your class that you all are in. Uh, to start a new class, I'm going to come up here to the Create a Class. Since I'm not joining, I'm creating. I'm going to go ahead and say okay. Okay, so this class is called Libs 3200. <clears throat> I don't remember what section they are, but they have me as their professor. So um, that's how I usually identify. All right, we'll just go with that. How about that? Since we don't have a room, let's see. I guess for subject, I could have put foundations, but let's just see how that looks. Uh -huh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I might want to change the spring part though. So I can upload a photo um, or choose photos. I'm going to select a screenshot that I just took. Oh dear, where did it go? Oh, desktop, silly goose. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the classes like um, thumbnail that I use to identify them on Canvas. So let's see here. Oh, goodness. We're not going to fit much in. It might just be foundations of Ed. Like that. That's fine. So. That's right. Okay. It kind of looks repetitive now with that over here as well. Eh. Eh, I'm not a huge fan of how that looks. So I'll have to figure out how to edit this and go back. No worries. Um, so let's add some classwork here. Let's say create. I want to do an assignment. And so I'm moving my assignments over from their week three asynchronous work. Uh, let's see here. So probably we'll do like one thing at a time. I do want to put these videos in there, but let's just go with this assignment here. It's a research assignment. And for Black History Month, they're looking at when this, uh, when is Black history taught based on California scan standards. So I'll put that there. I'll move my instructions. I see, like so. Let's see if it pulls this link or if I have to do something with that. It may or may not. It has it underlined, but I don't know that it's hyperlinked. So I will make sure that I attach a link to those standards. Um, probably pretty easy. Here's the link itself, so I'll copy it. And then let's see here. I'm gonna attach that. All right, groovy, okay. And then let's get the rest of the instructions here. And Oops, like so, nice. It's kind of keeping the formatting. It's a little wonky there, but I don't mind. Um, see, attached, oh Lord. What else do we need? All I have left is this visual. I don't know if I can get this over there. How so? I probably could upload a photo. So I'm going to go ahead and take a quick screenshot. Remember in, in this class and in many spaces and places when you're working online or on computers, screenshots are your friend. So let's go ahead and upload that screenshot. Get it out. I think this is it. There it is. Just so they have a visual example of what to look for there. Okay. Students can view the file. Students can edit, make a copy for each student. No, it's really just they need to be able to see it. Am I able to edit that link at all? Looks like not, but that's okay. 
Okay, so next we're going to look at how many points is this worth? This is part of a larger assignment, so I don't really want to make it worth points. I'd rather just like check it off, but students tend to do things better if you give it points or at least pay attention to due dates. Um, so I'll just make it a low point value. With our due date, it was supposed to be due tomorrow, but because of all of this craziness that's happening with everything online, I'm going to give students until, hmm, let's go until next week. So maybe Sunday or Monday is fine. And I think I clicked Monday and this class meets at 2 p.m. So I'll go ahead and say we're going to make this due at 1 p.m. Right before class. And then topic wise, I don't have topics yet. So I'm going to create a topic. And my topic, of course, is uh, uh, let's see here. Asynchronous work for week three is kind of what it is, but let's go like this at least and I'll par it down. So topic, black history in the classroom, February theme. I'll go like this. Okay, let's see how that goes. So that's one assignment and they're looking at the standards. Let's go ahead and say assign. Of course, there's no one signed in yet into this class, so it just kind of shows up there. That's okay. Let's do another one. I do have to figure out how to do a how to do a discussion board, but we'll get that. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So this one here, this is the talking talking black in America film activity, film viewing activity. So let's do that one as well. And, okay, my instructions, again, pulling it over. I'm just going to copy and paste this whole shaboodle. How's that? Looks pretty good. And, again, rather than doing active hyperlinks for things that Grammarly, love that Grammarly right there if you saw that. So see attached. Okay, so this is uh, Talking Black in America on YouTube. One of the students found it for free on YouTube. And then anything else that I have to do? Okay, and then this one also on YouTube. Okay, now everything's there so now what i need to do is i need to attach the film reflection guide so let me do what would it be i reckon it's going to just be an upload insert yeah i'm doing files so i can do whatever i'm going to browse let's go and find it i'm pretty sure i put it in my libs 3200 folder if i didn't no i didn't snap must be over here oh there it is most of them have this downloaded already, but I just want to make sure that I'm giving everything they might need to be successful. Um, now, typically, if, if they hadn't already had this assigned in Canvas, I would maybe do make a copy for each student. That sounds actually pretty useful because you can see the file is getting placed in my Google Drive, and so students can go there to download it. But if I said make a copy for each student, that would mean that every single student would have the file in my Google Drive already. Um, and each individual would have their own to work on. So that's kind of a really cool feature, uh, especially if you're working wholly and solely um, on, on Google Classroom. Now let's go ahead and just fix the points here. This is a pretty big assignment, so it's going to be worth 10 points. Again, I'm pushing this out to the 27th to give everybody some breathing room. We'll do 1 p.m. again. Oh, and this is again back in that black history in the classroom topic. And so the last thing I need to do is I need to attach the two YouTube videos that are associated with the assignment. So let me first get this one. I should be able to, because you could see like, this will link me out to YouTube if I open it. And I could get the link from here, or share, but I can't do that because I already have it embedded here with the link. So I should be able to copy the link, come over here, Go to YouTube and then, yeah, I can actually search for the URL. 
Come on, friends. Is it going to work? I have not yet done this. The cat got a checkbox, but I don't see it working. Oh, there it is. Oh, perfect. That's the video. So I'm going to add it. Oh, I love it. And then the other video is also on YouTube. So let me come over here. Same thing. Copy that link. Come down and again, YouTube. And let's go ahead and search. That was fast. Okay. Yes, Pa. Yes. And <laughs> that looks like that's all we need. I'm not going to do a rubric today, but I could, which is pretty cool. Um, but we're keeping it simple here. <laughs> all right. So there you can see two uh, assignments actually created. And if I look in my stream, the assignments are there. And then also here is my due dates over here. So that was just a quick look at how we could um, add assignments to a Google Classroom. Once I get all my students signed in here, as I've asked you all to sign in on um, the Google Classroom I made for our class over here, then I'll be able to like send them announcements and stuff and I'll get to them. Okay, and so finally, let's just wrap the video up. How do I get students into my class? Well. One thing you could do if you knew all of their email addresses is say invite students and then put all of their emails in. The other thing that you can do is right here where it says class code, open this up. Now, if I were live with my students, I could t tell them to go to Google Classroom. And if you recall at the top right hand corner, there's that plus sign and I clicked create class, but there was the other option that said join class. And so I could just tell students to go to the Google Classroom webpage, click join class, and then put in this code. So that would work. But my favorite way, especially because I'm going to be sending this out because I still have access to Canvas, is to just invite this, uh, use this invite link. So I'm copying it. And that is what I'm going to <laughs> send out in an announcement to my students. Um, oh, good. We have a right there like so and that's the join link for them so anywho try out our google classroom um you will find of course we've got lesson two um your submissions i don't know what the submissions will look like but we'll try our best to submit our tech task and journal here um so that's gonna be right here it says new assignment Oh, yes. Oh, Alyssa's in. Okay. Anyway, so I don't want to show any more of that. Good job. And um, then finally, the other thing I wanted to show you here was for those who want to look ahead, I have posted lesson three, so it is in there. But again, you're not expected to work on that until next Monday. Um, and a final reminder again that lesson two, again, instead of being due this Friday at midnight, I've given you until next Monday at midnight. So just pushing it off a few days, understanding that everything's been a hot mess. Internet is hard to come by on a campus. And so I recognize that not everybody has as much time um, to do their work efficiently. So anyways, um, I'll post this up on my YouTube channel. Where is the YouTube channel? I believe I sent you all an announcement about it. Um, but anyway, check out my YouTube channel and maybe I'll link that here just so that y'all can find it quickly and easily. And I will be, until this weirdness is over, posting um, these videos in, onto the YouTube channel so anyone can see them from anywhere. Um, no canvas needed. All right, folks, that's it for now. Hit me up if you have questions. And once you're here on Google Classroom, we can actually start communicating here. Thanks.